War has always been part of human history, and for some ancient peoples, war represented the manifestation of divine influences in our world. In many cultures, warriors were a vital part of society, and the most skilled were revered by their peers. But in some situations, even the most respectable warriors lost self-control during battles. Their behavior became animalistic, which frightened even their companions. Being part of a battle in antiquity was a frightening experience. It took a lot of courage to face spears, axes, arrows, and swords. To help the warriors hold their ground in the fight, preparation rituals were performed before the quarrel. In these rituals, some warriors used to wear animal skins like wolves or bears. They believed they would receive the strength and courage of these animals. Together with the use of the skins, the warriors performed war dances to prepare the mind and body for the fight. With this combination of natural and psychological elements, the berserkers emerged. Various cultures have reported of warriors reaching an uncontrolled state of fury, but it was during the Viking era that the term berserker became popular. The berserkers were Nordic warriors very much present in Viking culture. They were adepts of the cult of the god Odin. There is no exact translation for the word berserker. It can be translated as bearskin. There are many sagas and poems in the Viking era that talk about the bravery and ferocity of the berserkers. In a poem written around the year 1200, the berserkers are described as warriors who advance against enemy lines without wearing any armor. In that poem, it is stated that the berserkers' fury was so great that they bit the edges of their own shields to try to control anxiety before a battle. The accounts are even more impressive when they talk about the resistance the berserkers had against pain and injuries. The berserkers' skin became so rigid that it was able to repel the blades of enemy weapons. During the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which took place in 1066 AD, a Viking army, commanded by King Harald Hardrada, was at a great disadvantage against a larger Saxon army. The Vikings were forced to retreat across a wooden bridge. It was a task that seemed impossible, as the Saxons were very close, and they continued to advance. Suddenly, a berserker placed himself in the center of the bridge and, using a large axe, managed to block the Saxons' advance. It is estimated that this berserker defeated 40 men before finally succumbing, mortally wounded by the Saxon spears. But his sacrifice was not in vain. He managed to hold the Saxon army so King Harald could escape, along with many Viking warriors. The berserkers were considered special soldiers who were used at specific times in battle. One of the options was to send the berserkers against the enemy shield wall. They advanced without fear of death, breaking shields and creating an opening for the warriors at the rear. The berserkers' aggression was also used in the rear. When the enemy army faced the shield wall, the berserkers would suddenly advance to do great damage. That is why the ancient Catholic priests described the berserkers as men possessed by demons. On some occasions, the berserkers' frenzy and savagery caused them to commit thoughtless acts. For example, wounding or even killing their own companions. For that reason, most people preferred to stay away from a berserker. Taking advantage of the discomfort caused by berserkers, the kings and lords of Scandinavia used to choose the best berserkers as personal guards. Being a berserker meant accepting a short life with an abrupt end. Many berserkers died early in battle, as the furious attack did not always cause the expected effect. A group of well-trained soldiers could stand their ground against the berserkers, eliminating much of their efficiency. Another factor that could shorten a berserker's life was his lack of mental balance. Many could not behave normally in their daily lives, participating in violent fights, often for no reason at all. Nordic legends say that the berserkers, after living alone in a forest, turn into bears. They were condemned to live the rest of their lives like wild animals. It's unclear what caused the berserkers' uncontrollable and violent behavior. Theories vary between the use of beverages and hallucinogenic plants, or even a state of self-induced trance during rituals in honor of the god Odin. The truth is that the reputation of these warriors has spread throughout the world as inspiration for the most diverse stories and internalizing the image of the fearsome berserkers.